On today's episode of Watch Chair Go, Rat Vet gets a little bit better. What is going on guys? I am Watch Chair Go and today I'm here with my $5,000 C5 Corvette that I got dirt cheap because rats had ate the wiring harness for the engine. In the last couple of videos, we sorted out most of the running and driving issues, but there's one glaring error that's always on the dash. It's very, very annoying. Basically, as soon as this thing warms up, it says extremely high oil temperature or very high oil temperature or uh, low oil temperature sometimes, and it just jumps around and it completely flashes the display. It's got a bit of an issue, and I don't think it's the wiring anymore. I think it's actually a failed temp sensor. So uh, first, I'm gonna start it up, show you guys this error, and then we're just gonna go through swap out that sensor, do an oil change, get the spacers and the new lug nuts on the wheels, and basically get everything I need from a drivability perspective sorted out today. All right, hopping in Rat Vet, as it's officially called now, and hopefully she starts right up because she had a full drive cycle on her last time we got it out. Starts right up. All right, we'll ignore all the warnings, go straight to gauges. I don't care about TPMS. And oil temperature, low. All right, so now as this thing starts to warm up, it should go through every temperature and just skyrocket all the way up. Well, this thing's almost completely warmed up. We're at about 160 degrees Fahrenheit right now. And I'm still sitting here with oil temp low. It should have aired out by now and thrown a fit, but Today, of course, it wants to work. So it's probably a bad sensor because obviously all the wires going to it are intact. I know all of our grounds are good. It's gotta be a problem with the sensor itself. I've got a new sensor, but first, the last video we did all that misfire troubleshooting, take a look at the misfire data we should have been looking at. There's a whole page in the Autel dedicated to troubleshooting misfires, and it's incredible. There's misfire counts, uh, misfire history, and it shows the cycles of it collecting misfire data, uh, how many revolutions had misfires. This is incredible. It checks the coils. Wow, go Autel. I restarted the car and instantly got high oil temperature, reduced engine RPM. So let's swap it out. Okay, underneath the C5 on the driver's side, right up here by the oil filter, if we look straight up, you can see that sensor right there that's sticking out. It's got that little wire coming out of it. I know it's a little bit hard to see. I'll try to move until it works. There we go. That sensor on the side of the oil filter housing is oil temperature. Super easy to get to. Uh, the only problem is the exhaust is nice and hot now after warming the engine up. And there's just one little clip on the wire. No big deal to get that off. And here's the sensor. I ran up to the local GM dealer, actually just a Buick dealer, because obviously this sensor is in like every single GM car. They actually had it in stock and it was 20 something dollars, $28 after tax. And I figured we'd put an AC Delco one in because it should last. I've never seen one fail before. This is the first one I've seen fail in a Corvette. So uh, this is a 213-4333 and I'll throw a link in the description below. Temp sensor, screws in, comes with its own copper crush washer and just has one connector on it. Very, very simple, two terminal. So let's find out what it's gonna take to get this out of the car. Uh, looks like maybe a 15, 17, 18. <laughs> Going big, 19. This is a, she's a big one, but it's a 19 and we'll either use a ratcheting flexible wrench or an actual 19 deep socket. So let's hop in there and try it with the wrench first. Uh, it's even mounted on top. Huge thank you to UGM. Obviously they actually think through working on their cars. So you can just hop right in there and pop this out without losing any oil. I'm gonna put some gloves on because it's extremely hot and try to get this out. All right, we're losing a little bit of oil here, but it was really just a few drips. And we're gonna come over the top of the cat and pull this thing out. Okay, just kidding. Let me get an oil pan. Well, not much came out. <laughs> that was basically the end of it. There's our old temp sensor right there. 
Let's uh, put the new one in, and while we're at it, rip this old oil filter out, throw in the new one. <laughs> wow! Couldn't have over-tightened that oil drain plug anymore if they wanted to. Somebody somewhere is like, challenge accepted right this second. All right, this should be done draining in a minute. We'll uh, get the filter out while that's going down, since you can do everything on the bottom of the old C5. Oh, oh. don't mind me, I'm just making a terrible mess. All right, we've got the oil out of this thing now. It's time to sneak in here with the new temp sensor. You don't have to like over tighten this or anything. It came out very easily and it's even uh, pre-silicon tape to make sure it doesn't leak along with the crush washer. And of course we have a new filter, the best oils going in it. You know, this thing gets all of the toys because it is going to be kind of a long term here. You already know the drill. Kiss the O-ring on the filter with a little bit of fresh oil. Throw this thing on there. It's been pre-filled as well. And we should be done underneath this car. While we have the C5 in the air, it's the perfect time to run around and install my new hub-centric spacers and splined lug nuts that look a little better. And I'll definitely begin the car for the next time. The back wheels are on with their new spacers and they look much better. They're not completely hidden inside the wheel well now. Uh, it's still like, it, it's almost flush. So kind of where we're going and the new lug nuts, I think they look pretty good. And it's time for our oil fill now. And then later on, I'll pull the fronts back off and do all those uh, spacers and lug nuts as well. But first let's get some Motul 8100 X Clean EFE in there, 5W30 the uh, factor recommended weight there and make this thing awesome. We'll probably end up doing all the fluids on this. We'll end up doing a Motul brake fluid, uh, their power steering fluid, transmission fluid, everything on this car will end up being switched over to Motul. So that will be great. And right now let's fill this thing up and start it up for the first time. Hopefully with one less error, two less errors on the dash. Bluetooth funnels and full effect on this thing. It is the only way. Setting oil life on a C5 is amazing. Go to oil life, hold reset, and it is now 100%, which is awesome. I forgot I ordered the block off plates for the air system and I left them at home. If I would have brought them, we could have had almost all the little things I wanted done finished with this car today, except for obviously transmission harness and cleaning it and paint and uh, maybe a top, but most of the things that it actually needs. So uh, it looks like the oil temp sensor is working. It should be about to drop to like nominal or normal. It's still on low. Also, the fans should kick on about now. I'm waiting to hear the fans. Hopefully that harness isn't chewed up. It's at about 220. Should be the fan kick point. And uh, I gave the interior a quick wipe down. The interior looks very different than the day we brought it home after about 10 minutes with a vacuum and a rag. Check that out. We can actually sit in here. I didn't touch the dash because that's the be careful part, but the top of the dash I did do. So that is it for today, guys. Lots of progress on Rat Vet. And uh, like I said, in the very next one, we should have it out on the road and hopefully clean too. That would be ideal. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to head on over to shop, where you can get cool shirts, not like this. And please like, share, subscribe, do whatever you want to do. And I will talk to you next time. I really wanted to drive this today, but the cowl's over there. We took it off and we took all the wiper blades off and it's probably gonna rain tonight. So 
honestly, that's the only reason I'm not taking it home tonight. Well, that and the fact that the top might leak like a sieve. We'll see. I should mention, I never saw that high oil temp warning again after swapping the sensor. And I need to hop on that thing with the Autel and force the fans on to make sure they still run. Uh, if those wires got chewed up, I haven't seen any evidence of it anywhere, but we do need to make sure the fans are gonna kick on like they're supposed to. So add some things to the troubleshooting list.